Yo, what's up, Game Reaper? This is The Jizz, and after 10 years of playing League of Legends, I don't think I've seen anything as crazy as what I am about to show you. This is Janatop with Smite, and this tech is some of the most broken stuff I have ever seen. It just looks like free LP, and it's so easy to actually strategize for and execute. So in this video, we're going to walk you through how to do it in your games so you can just print victories. Now, just a quick word about the Game Weep website, which is linked in the description and comment section. If you want to learn any champion in League of Legends and play at the highest challenger level, then make sure you check it out. Our challenger players and coaches are uploading up to 20 videos a week designed to help you become the best player you can be. So check it out and let's get into this video. Now, as we get into the gameplay, just a quick second to talk about runes and items. And this is your rune page. So full mobility with celerity, water walking and relentless hunter. We are about ditching top lane as soon as possible so we can roam around the map. And as far as your items, we start with spell thieves because we won't actually be CSing. So we need to accumulate gold somehow. And our first base is a thousand gold ideally for mobility boots. Now, why is this? Movement speed, and also get a sweeper at this point. Then we want to work towards our Shirelia's battle song. Why? Movement speed, and then going art and sensor redemption, and all of those other enchanter items afterwards. Now for the actual gameplay. So how on earth does this work? Well, we'll be watching the challenger and a top lane Alulo. So the first thing you're going to do is buy your spell thieves, one control ward because we don't need health pots and a trinket, and then ping your team to invade. Janna with her new tornado is pretty unbalanced, so we want to try to abuse this as early as possible. So we're going to invade the enemy red buff regardless of what team you're on and we're going to place a trinket in this red buff brush and then our control ward in the brush beyond it and believe it or not these two wards are going to end up killing the enemy jungler very soon it tells us where they start and because we have smite we can cheese them now if nothing happens like in this game before 1 minute 30 which is when the red buff will spawn we leave this area and head to our bot side jungle because the enemy team may have invaded our bot side and if they have we want to fight the enemy champions if they are here and in this game this results in first blood for lulo and the game is already off to a flyer. But the question is, what if the enemy champions don't invade and nothing happens? Well, then we bring out River Janna, which is exactly like River Shen. We are just going from lane to lane, ganking with our Q and putting pressure on the boss side of the map, exactly like Lulo is doing in this game. But then we want to think about the enemy jungler. So remember that trinket we placed on their red buff? Well, this level one Graves is soloing his red buff. And because Lulo ganked mid and gave Seraphine even more priority, they can invade and pressure this poor Graves. So Lulo adventurously flashes over the wall, times his Q and smite, steals the red buff, it's level 2 and at the end of this sequence kills the graves with Seraphine. How broken is this? Now it is important when you do make this play. Most of the time the enemy laners will react to it so it's crucial to try to escape or base without getting caught out. So the way to avoid doing this is to look at your map. In this game the enemy mid laner Arkali and the enemy top laner Akshan, they are both missing and guess where they are running towards this red buff area. So really Lulo and Seraphine should path either towards Krugs or Raptors so if one of the enemy laners is here they can 2v1 them before the enemy champions get here. But I think Lulo was just that amazed at this crazy play. I mean, who wouldn't be? So I guess we just call it worth. Now, what do you do after your first base or death? Well, you always buy boots, and if you have the gold, mobility boots, which is what Lulo can already buy in this game. And you also want to swap your trinket for a red sweeper. This is to deny enemy vision as much as possible, because we are roaming around the map after all. These roams will be more effective if we cannot be seen. And as far as where do we go on the map, well, do we care about the top lane? Of course not. So we want to be heading bot and your jungler because you have already stomped the enemy jungler who is still level one they should want to invade so you can support them just like lulu is doing to his rengar now if your jungler doesn't do this ping them to ask them to if they still don't then invade on your own you have smite at level advantage who cares now for graves during all this why would he go back to his top side when there is no buff so most junglers just like this player will run to their blue buff area and a wild graves appears and rengar ends up killing graves of janna who is still level one at four minutes now after this lulu ends up poking the Nautilus and just being a massive nuisance. And this is good because you don't care about wasting your own time. You care about wasting your enemy's time. So whenever you can annoy your opponents with your tornadoes and slows, do it. Now, once all this fiesta ends, we think again about the enemy jungler. Level one Graves. Now, where is he going to path? Well, seeing as it's Gromp and Blue isn't up because Rengar stole both, he's probably going to go to his Crux. So this is what Lulu is thinking about and does. He gangs mid to get to the top side of the map and frustrates Arkali even more and then hits the scry orb outside the enemy red buff towards the crux. But Graves isn't here. What could this mean? Well, how about Raptors? No, we just checked them. So the only other camp for Graves is his wolf camp. But in this situation, because the enemy wolf camp is pretty far away, Graves is probably level two and Rengar, for whatever reason, is in the top lane. So we can't really achieve much. So what do we do instead? 
River Janna. So Lulo ganks mid again and then he runs to the bot lane. But unfortunately, he gets there a tiny bit late. Luck wasn't on his side. And Nautilus does escape. But we don't want to leave the wave in this position, so we hard shove and guess what Lulo is going to do next? Row mid, that's right. So it's a never ending cycle of just moving up and down between lanes. Now, thankfully, Leona wants a piece of the action as well. And whenever you have a teammate with you who can capitalize on your CC, it's a deadly combination and you can invade because of this threat. And the same wild graze appears at his wolf camp. So he must have waited to do Krugs and path down. But same story. We harass him, force him off his wolves, and smite the big wolf when it's on equal or less than 450 HP. And the craziest thing about all this, Lulo already has his spell fees stacked, and he can now place wards while roaming, which will make it even more impossible for Graves to play, if that's possible. Now, because there is nothing to do mid, what do we do here? We go bot, and Twitch gets a kill because of it. Now, after all of this, Lulo has a fat 1200 gold, so he buys a Kindle gem for the ability haze and a dark seal because he will be in so many kills and assist doing this playstyle. Now, same thing running out of base here. Do we care about topside? Of course not. We run straight back to the bot side river to wreak more havoc. We help our Rengar secure the scuttle crab, and we then annoy the enemy champion or champions who end up running bot lane. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Like in this fight, for example, Rengar, for whatever reason, decides not to help, and the enemy team does well. But another massive advantage this Smite Janna tech has is that you scale incredibly well. So even if the early game does not go as swimmingly as this one, in the mid to late game, team fights your AD carry will have two supports. Your Yone mid will have two supports. Your Viego jungle will have two supports. They will not die and they will easily 1v9. Now, after this fight does eventually end and Lulo dies, we need to know what to buy. Well, you want to build towards your Shirelia. So with whatever gold you have, that's what you spend it on. So Lulo buys an amplifying tone and a fairy charm. And once again, we have to know where to run on the map. Now, as the game progresses, options start opening up because champions will be level six with more items and dragons and rift heralds will be spawning, as will the next rotation of red and blue buffs. So the ideal situation is one in which you and your jungler are both running to the bot side of the map to kill the enemy jungler or the mid or bot laners. But in this game, Lulo passed bot and uses his sweeper outside his red buff because he wants to conceal his movements on the map. But on the bot side of the map at the moment, not much is really happening and it might be risky running into the grave solo. So what Lulo decides to do is play with his jungler here and because the enemy Draven is so far pushed in the top lane, Rengar and Janna run to this lane to punish the Draven. They end up getting his exhaust and the way so it's worth and this is one of the few times you should ever go to this top lane so when the enemy champion is likely going to die otherwise it's a poison chalice it's a waste of time and you are better off pressuring the bottom side of the map and at this stage guys that is all you need to know and just to show you the scaling this playstyle has if we skip to the last fight in this game which is around 20 minutes by the way that's how quickly you can end games the twitch ad carry ends up getting a triple kill and it's just so free now can you do this on other supports of course Tarek would probably be good karma maybe nami and so just anyone who can peel their carries and pressure the enemy jungler and lanes in the early game with their poke and see see if they have it. Now guys, if you have tried this out already, let me know in the comments exactly what you think of this Janna tech. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. And until tomorrow's daily season 12 upload, this has been the Jew.